Hello students, it's your history teacher and I'm here with another online lecture and THIS IS SPARTA! Yes, so today it is Sparta. In 1000 BC, the tribe of Dorians came. We know that the Dorians were probably behind the fall of Mycenaean civilization. So this tribe came in 1000 BC and settled in the southern part of the Peloponnesus, which is peninsula. This region is called Laconia. So we know that Athens were located in the region Ethica. Sparta was located in Laconia. Remember these regions and it is also very useful to learn it in the way that you will compare Athens and Sparta in some matters of the public life. Sparta had three groups of inhabitants. These were hoplites, perioikoi and helots. Hoplites was the first group, so like in the top of the society. And these were Spartans, ruling group, okay, there's some mistake, it's ruling group, which was basically minority and aristocracy. So these were former warriors and helpers of the king. So Hoplites are only people who have the same origin. So they are from the tribe of Dorians. So they are Spartans, ruling group, minority. So like a high class. The second group, Perioikoi, these are foreigners that are free, but they have no rights in politics. So just ordinary free people who are free. And they are foreigners, so they were not originally the Dorians. And the third group, which is the lowest in the hierarchy, are hereditary slaves with no rights. Hereditary means that they were inherited from the ancestors of the person who owns the slaves. Also, the children of the slave are slaves and they will be slaves for all their lives and they have no rights, so they are not free. Spartan society was different than the Athenian one. You know, Spartans, they did not work. So there were no craftsmen, no like politicians, no doctors, philosophers, peasants, nothing. They just fought. So they were only warriors. This was their only job. Sparta is very well known for their strict education of combat. So boys in the age of seven were taken from their homes for training. Only Spartan boys, because only these could become the warriors, the Spartans, because of their origin. So they were trained from very early age to become the greatest warriors that Spartans really were in ancient Greece. For other jobs, there were these perioikoi, so foreigners who were free and could work as the craftsmen, they, they could do some other jobs, and helots who were slaves, so they had to do anything that their masters told them to do. Now let's go to the government. It consisted of two kings, Gerusia, which was council of noble elders, Tutaradastarshi, these were the Spartans who were former warriors but now were too old to actually fight but they had a lot of experience. So these were Spartans over the age of 60. Then they had an assembly that was made of all male Spartans over the age of 30. So only Spartan men over the age of 30. Five efforts who were elected by the assembly. We can say these were like ministers. The same as, for example, archons were in Athens. Okay, so all of this created their government. So these were just different parts of it. Another important thing you should know about the states, the police, were that these two strongest city-states founded their leagues. There was Peloponnesian League created by Sparta and there were also other states in that league but Sparta was the strongest one and the one that established the league and Athens that established Delian League. Also there were other states but Athens were the strongest so same as Sparta. So Sparta had Peloponnesian League Athens had Delian League. What this league was, I can give you a really quick explanation. This was the military alliance, we can say. A keby sa niečo dalo, tie ostatní im prídu na pomoc. Takisto okrem, povedzme, že tej vojenskej časti, môže si 
pomáhať aj v obchodovaní, čiže v podstate liga alebo spojenictvo. Now I have some interesting facts about Sparta for you. For example, Sparta used iron currency to prevent business with other cities. You know, other cities, they used, for example, golden currency or silver currency, you know, because the coin has the value of the metal that it contains. But Sparta didn't want to trade with other cities. They wanted to be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient namena sebestachni. So they only wanted to make as much as they could use. So this is why they used iron currency, because iron was not so precious. Another fact is that at schools, successful stealing was honored, because these boys afterwards could use it in the battle, for example. So the successful thieves were honored, but the thief who was caught was punished. Do not take an advice from that. Don't even try. <laughs> Public contests in whipping were held. Whipping, albo teda bičovanie. So the one who could hold the pain for a longer time was a winner. Spartans were really tough men. Another thing about Spartan army was that every man soldier belonged to a special dining club, which was called Sisiche, to become friends. Why is that important? You know, when you are in the army and you are fighting beside someone else, you basically depend on him because that person can save your life as you can save the life of someone else, of someone else's. So this is why it's always better when these warriors know each other, they are friends, they know the each other's moves. So this was why they had to spend their free time also together in these dining clubs. The interesting fact is that even though the man had such strong position in Sparta because they were the warriors, others just had to work for them, you know, they didn't have another job. They were all the ruling class, okay, all Spartans, they were all aristocracy. But still, women had better position in Sparta than in Athens. So in Athens, we know that there was this strong misogyny, so strong patriarchy, men were more than women. Of course, men were also kind of more in Sparta, but it was definitely better for women there than in Athens, because the Spartans had a saying, only a strong woman can give birth to a strong son. So they believed that when woman is strong, she will carry and give birth to very strong son, so another great warrior. So women were appreciated as mothers. And also, when Spartans left their homes to fight somewhere else, women knew how to defend themselves, so they were also trained in combat a little bit for defense. The most valuable part of armor of a Spartan was the shield, because it protects its carrier, so the one who holds it, but also the soldier that is left to him, okay, because Usually, you hold your sword in your right hand and you hold your shield on your left. So you protect also half of the person that is on your left and you are protected by someone else's shield. So the person who is standing on your right. Spartans had also seen for that. Women usually said that to their men when they were about to leave. Come back either victorious carrying the shield or that being carried on it. You know, this quotation means that Spartans were really brave soldiers, and it meant that they could not run away from a fight, because it would be shame for a whole family. So they had to stay and fight until the last death. Do you understand that? I hope yes. Now I will show you two pictures of uh, Spartan soldiers, so you can see how the armor looked like. So they were really shiny, golden and red. They had really big shields that they carried. Usually they were fighting with lenses as well, so they were throwing it, but they also had swords. In the picture on the left you can see that there is a little boy who is helping to the soldier. In Sparta it was a tradition that the little boy was given to the soldier to help him with his armor, to carry his weapons and so on. And basically like in exchange, 
that boy was learning how to fight from his master. So the fighting was most of the lives of the Spartans. So by these pictures you can imagine it at least how it looked like. Okay, what do you need to know? Sparta was created by the Dorians who settled in the southern part of Peloponnesus that was called Laconia. There were three groups of inhabitants. Please learn that groups, so hoplites, perioikoi, helots, and to know which group was created by whom. Spartans did not work, they were only warriors. Their government was created by two kings, Gerusia, an assembly, five ephors, and they also established Peloponnesian League against Athens' Delian League. There are facts about Sparta. I want you also to know these facts. So they used iron currency. They uh, honored successful stealing. Public contests in whipping were held. They had also dining club because they wanted their warriors to become friends, to trust each other. Uh, women had better position than in Athens. And the most valuable part of armor was the shield. And that's it. That's everything I will want you to know and study because I think that there will be some spot check. So have a nice weekend. Bye.